Hello, good, good morning, my dear students. Again in lesson 2, Nutrition in Animals. Yesterday I had explained the nutrition and various states of nutrition. As ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. So students, the two topics mainly as assimilation and ejection had been left. ये आपके बचे हुए रह गए थे। तो एक बार फिर से remind करते हुए हम उस point को चलेंगे। The intake of food or the taking of food by the organism's body is called ingestion. Digestion, the process of breaking down of complex food materials into its simpler for food molecules is known as digestion with the help of digestive enzymes or digestive juices it is third we had studied as absorption ji ha digestion ke baad start hota hai absorption jab hum food le lete hain to jo kal maine aap logo ko bataya tha ki iske baad batana hum logo ko absorption the when the food materials are digested during digestion process then these liquid food materials are utilized by the organism's body that is called that is called absorption okay so when these materials are absorbed by the body then our body performs various actions uh, performs various actions or uh, do various types of activities then it is called assimilation it means the process in which the absorbed food materials absorbed liquid food materials are utilized by the organism's body is called assimilation okay students and uh, next ejection at last process is is this the throwing out waste from the body the throwing out waste of from the body or the removal of waste from our body is known as ejection these five steps are steps or stages are performed by all the multicellular organism or higher organisms it means big organisms and sometimes it also occurs in unicellular organisms that i had told to you about amoeba जो कि मैंने आपको सिंगल सेल्ड ऑर्गेनिज्म अमीबा के बारे में भी मैंने कल बताया था जैसा कि आप जानते हैं तो अमीबा क्या है एक यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म है और उसी जगह फिर हम लोगों ने एक डिस्कस किया था हाइड्रा के बारे में हाइड्रा क्या है एक मल्टीसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म है बिग ऑर्गेनिज्म है तो फिर हाइड्रा कैसे अपना फूड इंजेस्ट करते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेंटिकल्स इन सारी बातों के बाद आज हम लोग चलेंगे ये फाइव स्टेप्स को कंप्लीट करने के बाद आज हम लोग को जानना है न्यूट्रिशन इन अमीबा जी हां बच्चे न्यूट्रिशन इन अमीबा टुडे वी विल नो अबाउट आई हैड आल्सो एक्सप्लेंड यू अबाउट स्यूडोपोडिया व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय स्यूडोपोडिया Pseudopodia, it means the finger-like projections present in the organisms which help to trap the food materials is called, uh, sorry, are called pseudopodia or in singular form, it is called pseudopodium. Pseudopodia का मतलब होता है जैसे हमारा finger है, ये इसका structure जो होता है, ये false feet. और फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस भी कह सकते हैं ये फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस की फॉर्म में अमीबा का कोई पार्टिकुलर बड़ी स्ट्रक्चर नहीं होता है लेकिन जब हम इसको माइक्रोस्कोपिक वे में देखते हैं इसमें माइक्रोस्कोप से देखते हैं तो इसका मूवमेंट दिखाई देता है कि इस तरीके से इसका बड़ी का स्ट्रक्चर होता है ये देखिए गौर से यहां देखिए ये सेप में रहता है लेकिन जैसे ही अपना फूड का प्रेजेंस पाता है जैसे इसको अपने फूड के बारे में पता चलता है फील फीलिंग होती है तो ये अपना डायरेक्शन चेंज कर लेता है जिधर इसे फूड मिलता है उधर की तरफ ये देखिए ये अपना मूवमेंट कर लेता है और एज ए रिजल्ट फिर क्या होता है ये फूड पार्टिकल्स है और ये इसका सीडोपोडिया है सीडोपोडिया जब ये फूड को पहले ट्रैप करता है और धीरे-धीरे जाकर के इसको अपने अंदर इंजेस्ट कर लेता है कंप्लीटली अब 
इस प्रोसेस में ये फूड को डाइजेस्ट कर लेता है डाइजेस्ट करने के बाद वाटर के ग्रुप में डालने के बाद ये फूड वैक्यूल बनाता है डाइजेस्ट करता है और वाटर के प्रेजेंस से फिर ये फूड वैक्यूल रेडी करता है सो सुन द सेडोपोडिया सराउंड द फूड एंड द फूड पार्टिकल विथ ए ड्रॉप ऑफ वाटर फॉर्म्स ए फूड वैक्यूल तो इस तरीके से ये फाइव स्टेजेस जो हैं ये अमीबा में भी न्यूट्रिशन इन अमीबा स्टेज में भी फॉलो करते हैं इंजेशन डाइजेशन एब्जॉर्बसन एसीमिलेशन एंड इजेशन डू यू नो दैट वाट इज अमीबा अमीबा इज ए सिंगल सेल्ड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म वेयर इज इट्स प्रेजेंस इट इज फाउंड जनरली इन पॉन्ड्स और फ्रेश वाटर टू देन हाउ कैन यू सी हाउ कैन यू वट हाउ कैन यू सी इट वी कैन सी इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए माइक्रो माइक्रोस्कोप एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच इज यूज टू सी द टीनियस्ट पार्टिकल एंड डू यू नो दैट वाट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स आर इटन बाय अमीबा um an amoeba it's the tiniest organism or as as uh, bacteria minute algae and minute algae and uh, other small organisms these organisms are eaten by or ingested by amoeba so this in this way we have seen that uh, amoeba ingest food and with the help of digestive juices or enzymes are enzymes digestion of uh, ingested food in the food vacuole and digested food is then absorbed into the cytoplasm and the undigested food material is removed from the body uh, at any point through a temporary vacuole this is the last position or last process of ejection in amoeba it means food ka lena ingestion fir digest karna digestion digestion ke baad ye apne digestive juices ke baad ab wo usko apne body mein absorb kiya theek hai absorb karne ke baad ab वो अपने फूड के लिए फिर अपने अपना एक्शन परफॉर्म किया इट मीन्स जो उसका एक्शन क्या है फूड को सर्च करना फिर उसको ढूंढना खाना और इस एक्टिविटी में उसे भी एनर्जी की जरूरत पड़ी तो एसिमिलेशन हुआ और एट लास्ट फूड वैक्यूल के फॉर्म में वो उसको किसी भी पॉइंट पे एडजस्ट कर देता है मतलब रिलीज कर देता है दैट इज इजेशन नाव स्टूडेंट्स वी विल नो अबाउट द सेम प्रोसेस it means i have just told you the five steps are involved in big organisms too so today we will know digestive system in humans in digestive system in humans the five stages of digestion five stages of nutrition nutrition are also are also involved so we will know that as our body cells cannot use the food in the form it is eaten by us जो फूड हमारा हम लेते हैं उसको डायरेक्ट हमारा बॉडी यूटिलाइज नहीं कर सकता उसके लिए कई सारे प्रोसेसेस होते हैं तो सबसे फर्स्ट प्रोसेसेस होते हैं एज द फूड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू ए सिंपलर फॉर्म फ्रॉम द कम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म एंड देन दस प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग कम्प्लेक्स फूड सब्सटेंसेस इन टू सिंपलर एब्जॉर्बेबल फॉर्म आइज कॉल्ड डाइजेशन डू यू नो दैट हाउ डज दीज स्टेप्स start it means from which places digestion process starts at uh, starts before digestion where from which part of the body will start the ingestion process as you have seen that seen that when we take food it it is taken with the help of our mouth so at first it is ingested or taken in with the help of mouth now there are several things are also present in mouth mouth mein bahut sare cheez present hote hain jo ingestion mein help karte hain sath hi sath hum log ko janna hai mouth ke sath sath mouth कैविटी होता है कैविटी क्या हुआ अपर जॉ और लोअर जॉ मिल करके जो एक होल बनाते हैं वो उसका पूरा माउथ कैविटी डिस्ट्राइव ये एक्सप्लेन किया जाता है तो ये माउथ कैविटी हुआ तो सबसे पहले वेन वेन डू बी टेक फूड देन इट इज एट फर्स्ट टेक इन इन आवर द कैविटी ऑफ माउथ इट मीन्स माउथ कैविटी और वी कैन ऑल्सो से इट बकल कैविटी टू now the taken food materials are mixed with the a type of digestive juices liquid juice that is called saliva which is secreted 
from the salivary glands students you will know here there are different types of organs are involved in digestive human digestive system in the same way may, um, many may, many glands are also involved also for perform various types of functions in our digestion process jis tarike se bahut sare organs hamare body mein present hote hain digestive system ko perform karne ke liye complete karne ke liye usi tarike se hamare body mein बहुत सारे ग्लैंड्स का भी इम्पोर्टेंस होता है और ये ग्लैंड्स का इम्पोर्टेंस क्या होता है तो ग्लैंड्स जो होता है वो हम वो भी हमें हमारे फूड के डाइजेशन में हेल्प करता है हमारे डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम को में को सपोर्ट करता है तो एट फर्स्ट फूड इज टेकन बाय द टेकन थ्रू द माउथ ना इट गेट्स मिक्स विद द लिक्विड स्लाइबा विच इज सिक्रेटेड फ्रॉम द सेलीवरी ग्लैंड विच इज प्रजेंट इन आवर माउथ Now it gets mixed with the uh, food material and makes the food particles soften. अब ये वाइट फूड पार्टिकल को सॉफ्टन बनाता है बिफोर सॉफ्टन इट अदर पोर्सन अदर ऑर्गन्स ऑल्सो हेल्प अस एज टिथ एंड टंग टंग एक्ट जस्ट एज अ रोलर रंग जो होता है वो रोलर की तरह एक्ट करता है तो जैसे पहले हम फूड मेटेरियल लेते हैं इट इज च्यूड बाय द टिथ completely je it is chewed or we can say it by uh, it is uh, bite bite and uh, next it is uh, chew uh, che after chewing it is grinded grinded and then it is mixed with saliva and the tongue helps to mix it very well now do you know that how many teeth are present uh, in an adult person do you know that Yeah, there are 32 teeth present in an adult's mouth and in a child there are 220 teeth are present in a child because of the 20 a set of 20 teeth are known as milk teeth and a set of 32 teeth are known as permanent teeth when a child grows then uh, a set of 20 teeth or milk teeth appears so when the a child grows from or uh, belongs be, uh, belongs between the age of uh, it is 6 to 10 years then all the milk teeth get replaced and permanent teeth appear so these teeth help the uh, food materials to uh, convert into simpler forms simpler particles not simpler or soluble forms simpler particles so how many teeth are present in our how many types of teeth are present in our mouth there are four types of teeth as incisors uh, incis canines premolars and molars these four types of teeth are uh, help the food materials to convert it into its simpler particles as incisor help as to cut or to bite the food materials as canines help to tearing the flesh materials premolars and molars perform same type of work as to chew the food materials or to grind the food materials very well next we will in this way we have known about the types of teeth too so there are four incisors in upper jaw or in lower jaw in it means there are eight incisors four canines and 6 to the 12 molars and rest, rest of the teeth are left over teeth are molars now you will know uh, how many things are or what is uh, present uh, over, on over the tongue the tongue contains the different type of taste buds yes students jo hum koi bhi cheez jo khate hain aur uske taste ka jo pata chalta hai ki ye khatta hai meetha hai teekha hai ye sara cheez jo pata chalta hai wo hamare taste buds hamare tongue pe jo taste buds present hote hain usse तो हमारे टेस्ट टंग पे कितने टाइप्स के टेस्ट बर्ड्स होते हैं हम लोग ये भी जानेंगे साथ ही साथ देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ टेस्ट बर्ड्स एज स्वीट सॉल्टी बीटर एंड स्वीट सॉल्टी बीटर एंड सावर टेस्ट बर्ड्स आर प्रेजेंट विच हेल्प्स टू डिफ्रेंशिएट द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टू टेस्ट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल्स so all the uh, organs which are present in our mouth help to change the food materials into simpler particles now the process starts uh, now uh, these food materials is pushed 
pushed with the help of glands in through the uh, food pipe that is also called esophagus and gullets gullets so the this is the food pipe through which food is food is transported into our stomach this is a whole portion of our stomach to so, ab food material mouth ke baad mouth se kahan transported hota hai to ye with the help of a pipe a pipe that helps to bring out the food material from the mouth to the stomach that is known as food pipe or also it is called uh, and it is also called esophagus and gullets too it is a digestive organ but it does not help to digest the food materials ye ek digestive organ ke roop mein help karta hai lekin iska matlab ye nahi hai ki yahan pe food digest hota hai ye sirf food ko transport karne ka kaam karta hai ab aaiye dekhiye to aap jaan chuke hain ki hamare mouth mein saliva saliva secrete hota hai jo ki kahan se hota hai wo salivary gland se hota hai ab food hamare stomach mein pahunchta hai to stomach mein pahunchne ke baad sabse first mein हम लोग देखते हैं अब इसोफेगस माउथ से होते हुए जब ये हमारे स्टोमेक में इसोफेगस से होते हुए फिर जब हमारे ये स्टोमेक में पहुंचेगा तो हम लोग जानेंगे सबसे पहले कि स्टोमेक क्या है द स्टोमेक इज ए मस्कुलर बैग और मस्कुलर ऑर्गन लाइंग लाइंग इन द अपर एब्डोमेन हेयर द फूड इज चर्ड एंड द कन्वर्टेड इन टू ए सेमी सॉलिड फूड मेटेरियल With the help of digestive juices that are also called gastric juices. Do you know though? Note that what are gastric juices? As uh, in, when the food is uh, um, stored in our stomach, then the inner wall of our stomach secretes the digestive juices as hydrochloric acid and pepsin. They are commonly called gastric juices. or also called digestive juices which help to digest the food materials so in our stomach uh, all the food materials are not completely digested not completely digested they change into semi solid form so proteins and uh, hydrochloric acids and pepsin help to convert the food materials into easy form now always remember that the source of gastric juices are uh, in our stomach now from we will come here the in the small intestine from our stomach this whole portions of our stomach now the food will enter into our the small intestine here i have represented it the middle portion the thin pipe that is called a small intestine do you know that what is the length of it it is the small intestine is present in our stomach in a coiled form and its length is near about 6 meters 6 meters and uh, the in the after it the food trans is transported to the large intestine that is that has the length as 1.5 meter it is thick in comparison to a small intestine so what happens into a small intestine when the semi solid food is or food is transported to the a small intestine which is found in coiled form it secretes uh, digestive juices and here with the help of digestive juices food simple simple semi solid food materials gets converted into simpler simple form and glucose uh, amino acids and fatty acids it is here formed and these end products are ready for absorption now uh, food materials in the form liquid form are absorbed or nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine and now it is transported to the blood system now the leftover portion it means the solid waste materials so semi solid waste materials are transported to the large intestine which has the main length 1.5 meter so in the large intestine generally water gets absorbed इसमें लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन में हम देख रहे हैं कि न्यूट्रिएंट्स एब्जॉर्ब हो रहा है स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन में और वाटर एब्जॉर्ब हो रहा है लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन में ठीक है तो अब जब वाटर का एब्जॉर्बन लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन में कंप्लीट हो जाता है तो अनकम्प्लीटली वेस्ट मटेरियल और अनडाइजेस्टेड फूड मटेरियल बच जाता है विच इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू द रेक्टम 
रेक्टम इज ऑल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ और ऑर्गन ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम रेक्टम रेक्टम इज अ डाइजेस्टिव फर्स्ट मटेरियल पासस इन टू द रेक्टम वेयर इट इज स्टोर्ड एज सेमी सॉलिड फेसेस और सेमी सॉलिड फेसेस और द वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स सो द फेसियल फेसियल मैटर इज पास आउट थ्रू द एनस नाउ एट लास्ट द लास्ट ऑर्गन थ्रू द एनस the uh, waste material are transported or the waste materials are removed from our body in this way the whole digestive digestive uh, organs the total digestive organs help in digestive system but do you know that associated with the organs some so glands are also responsible in the uh, digestion of food materials at first we have no uh, we have studied about the salivary glands which is at first present in our mouth and the next some other glands are too as liver and pancreas liver and pancreas also are the glands which help in digestive system do you know that liver secretes bile juice which helps in digestion of fats and it is stored in a small bag called the gall bladder and last the pancreas is a gland here i have mentioned it then the pancreas is the organ or the gland located just below the stomach it secretes a substance called insulin and also a juice insulin is important for regulating sugar level in the body the pancreatic juice acts as on the proteins and uh, proteins starch and fats and change them into simpler forms in this way uh, we have discussed here most uh, the a number of glands and organs help in the digestive system in many ways and at last i will want to say about the uh, uh, want to say the information about villi do you know that what are villi in some way it is also called villi so villi present in the small intestine villi are also the uh, uh, villi are have also the structure of finger like projections which is present inside or inner portion of the small intestine which has the main function to increase the surface area of for absorption of digested food and the digested food absorbed food is then carried by blood to different parts of the body and for blending into cell components this is uh, assimilation of absorbed food and the undigested food is excreted out through our faces in this way i have completed all the topics students the human digestive system now if you will have any problem then ca then you can uh, call me or solve your question that's all thank you